All right, well, I guess that's take two. Uh, I just recorded a voiceover for this video, and uh, for whatever reason, it did not uh, put it in the video. So here we go again. Uh, here's take two. <laughs> at least I, uh, I have a little bit more of what I want to say for uh, a second try at this. Uh, <laughs> 12 minutes of me talking and it not recording. All right, here we go again. All right, so it, it has been... Um, almost 200 days since my last uh, video here on uh, YouTube for the PA Farms channel. 200 days. I think the last video I posted was July 26th or 27th, somewhere in there. And that kind of follows in line with uh, what what's going on, what, what went on uh, in the summer of 2023. Uh, I had moved uh, July 28th, so I had posted the video on the 26th and then 27th, 28th uh, was uh, packing, moving, and that kind of stuff, and uh, moving to the new residence. Uh, for those of you guys who might not know, um, I had uh, uh, decided to uh, stop renting the uh, the house at the farm and uh, relocate uh, to a new residence. Uh, I was still going to, going to be renting the land. Uh, I gave up my house leased, lease as of August 2023, but I still had the land lease until January 1st, 2024. So another crop year uh, was underway. Um, it wasn't really a spur of the moment decision. We had decided we were going to move, uh, I believe it was March of 2023, March or April. So uh, we knew it was coming and uh, we had time to prepare uh, a couple months to get, get all our ducks in a row. It's one thing when you're just moving your house, but uh, uh, moving everything for the business and finding a home for everything. Uh, and then uh, also having to uh, do some work on the place where you're moving as well. And uh, it, it just got busy. It was a, it was a very busy time there. Um, so as far as no videos, no content, like I said, I moved on the 28th of July and uh, I was not back to the farm since uh, July 28th was my last day. After 13 years on the, on this property, that was the last time I saw the place. Um, so yeah, that's where we were at. Uh, so uh, moving, unpacking, trying to trying to get settled in. Um, I just kind of lost track of the time there, and I was still working. I'm still working my full time job. So uh, with the job and uh, the move, and like I said, everything everything compounding. And to be honest, I actually didn't really. Uh, I just didn't <laughs> didn't really feel like making any uh, YouTube content because, uh, like I said, things were coming to an end. Um, and it kind of was what it was there. Um, so yeah, I think uh, th this probably won't be the last video uh, from me. Um, you guys um, might see another one. I might give more like an in-depth behind the scenes of the things that we... How, how 2023 was uh, shaping up for us and why we finally decided that uh, we it's time to move on. And uh, like I said, I could have uh, farmed probably another year. My land lease was not up until 2025, but uh, after eh, after 2023, it was time to just uh, we we both had enough. Um, so yeah, that was that was the end of that there. So I I have been wanting to do a video um, for a while now. Like I say, we're in 2024. I always did like an end of year summary, a harvest uh, summary. Uh, for everybody to let everyone know how the year went. I know I had some questions how things went. Um, so I'll kind of get into that now as quick as I can. Um, so yeah, 2023, we planted all soybeans on the farm, uh, no corn. I did that purposefully because uh, like I said, we knew we were going to be moving. Um, and uh, I kind of want to make it a little bit easier on myself. One crop, uh, one set of uh, spray to buy, one set of seed to buy. Um, and uh, with corn, it, it uh, I, I was debating whether all soybeans or all corn, but corn, it, it was a little more time consuming because of having to come back and uh, side dress everything. And I knew I wanted everything done by, um, by July, somewhere in there, um, because once I was done with the equipment, I was planning to sell it. So I did have some questions on the equipment. I did end up selling the 685, so that had left. Um, really just about everything that I had is gone. And, and you guys know, I started liquidating stuff probably two years ago where I kind of started seeing the writing on the wall. So equipment I knew I wasn't going to be, uh, using or needing immediately. I was trying to, uh, 
trying to uh, find a home for. So I do have some left. Uh, it's, it's a lot of it's on consignment at a uh, dealership. So I do have a few pieces of equipment left that still have, have yet to be sold, but, uh, that's where all the equipment is. So yeah, I, I kept my pickup truck and I still have my, uh, great grandfather super C. The super C is going to be staying. Uh, it's, it's at my new, my new place. So, uh, we still have that. Um, so yeah, it was all soybeans. Um, I made the mistake of trying to cut the herbicide rate uh, of application back too hard, and the uh, it it ended up getting very weedy, um, which cut into my yields. Now, 2023 was an excellent crop year. It was an excellent growing year, and uh, the irony there is not lost that uh, my last year, of course, we'd finally have a decent year with no summer drought. And uh, it was just a good year for a lot of Pennsylvania. Uh, good rain, good sun. Uh, people had high yields on the corn. They had high yields for the soybeans and just about every other crop. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not blaming it on the weather my last year. I'm, I'm blaming it on uh, being cheap and leaving and uh, cutting back on the herbicide because uh, as of, I, I did spray everything uh, the second time once it was up. And uh, like I said, the last time I saw it, it was the end of July, and uh, it, it didn't look too weedy. I mean, there were a couple spots, but it didn't look bad. But uh, little did I know, underneath the uh, the canopy of soybeans was the uh, that mare's tail that I was dealing with on that property from the, the first year I was there. So it, it kind of took over. And uh, while I wasn't back to see it, my neighbor had said that, yeah, the fields are, are awful weedy. So the yields weren't, uh, I mean, it was uh, high 30s, I think, on the beans. But like I said, it was what it was um, last year there, and uh, there was going to be no next year. So it, it whatever it was, it was. So yeah, harvest came. Uh, I didn't get to take off work in time to be able to uh, get some some video um, of the last harvest, and uh, it's kind of how it was with that. Uh, they had said that they were coming, and they actually got done pretty quick. I mean, it was within a day or day and a half, and they were done and moved on to the next farm. So I didn't uh, didn't get much time to. Uh, take off work and uh, go film some of that so like i said it doesn't make for good youtube but uh, it kind of is what it is um so yeah those there should be another video coming in the future like i said let some time go by and then i'll give more of an in-depth of uh, why it was time to uh, just cut the place out just cut loose from the place um so I, get, I have a lot of questions now, too, from people wanting to know, uh, am I going to be ending the channel, or where where's the channel going from here? So to be honest, I'm not really sure. I'm not, I'm not too sure. So I watch a lot of YouTube, and I see a lot of channels saying that the, uh, the uh, well, a lot of even non-ag channels saying that the views are down, and uh, shorts, the YouTube shorts has kind of taken over as the primary um thing that people are watching on here and uh th that's where a lot of the uh, the attention that these longer videos with uh, a lot of talking they're they're becoming less popular more people are interested in the, the short form version of youtube and i've never even uh, made a short or anything like that uh, so i don't know um as far as uh what i'm gonna be doing like i say i'm i'm still working my full-time job um I just uh, was enjoying just settling in and uh, basically uh, unpacking and uh, just, like I said, when you're moving uh, to a new place after 13 years, it takes a little bit of time and until you get the house the way you want it and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to say that I won't have any content going forward. Like I say, I have, uh, right now I'm just working my, my full-time job and, uh, I don't really want to start anything at this point in my life. Uh, just want to kind of just uh, <laughs> just work and uh, go from there. Um, that's not to say that I don't have any options available. Uh, we'll see what the future holds. Um, but uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, what else? Uh, then this is kind of why uh, 
the long form videos don't get <laughs> as many views. It's a lot of rambling. Um, but yeah, I started this channel on YouTube here in 2017 and uh, 2017 and uh, been on here pretty much every year documenting the uh, the PA Farms channel. Um, like I said, I, I have some smaller projects. I don't know if they'll be exciting. Like I say, the, the Super C needs to get an engine rebuild and a clutch. I don't know if videos like that are going to be as popular or if this is just a good place to end the PA Farms uh, YouTube channel. So I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think. A um, couple things I want to say here in closing. I want to thank everybody for coming along for the ride, especially the uh, the regular viewers. Um those of you who comment regularly, I remember, I remember a lot of you right from right from the start, and uh, I appreciate you guys following along with uh, with the farm operation that I had here in Pennsylvania. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, kind of an awkward goodbye, I guess, but uh, that's kind of where we're at. That's where we that's where we end up. Um, So yeah, uh, trying to think, is there anything else in closing I want to say to anybody? Um, like I say, everything, everything else is, is going good and the new, the new place and, uh, the job, everything's pretty well, pretty well a positive, uh, from here on out. Um, it's just now I don't, uh, don't really have a farm operation to look after or, um, <laughs> really do anything, but that could change in the future. Uh, none of us really know what's, uh, what lies ahead, so... Um, there's always going to be something. Um, I don't really want to try to force content or, um, I don't know. I, I kind of have a, half of me says this is a good place to end the channel on account of, uh, uh, it's basically was the, the operation just about from start to finish. Uh, I regret not starting sooner. Um, when I had the operation at my dad's place, that would have made for some, some really good YouTube because there were some crazy things I did. <laughs> at dad's place and uh way more entertaining i think even than i was able to to do at the other farm so um i don't know i guess this is uh we're all it, guys so thanks a lot for watching and uh, i appreciate it and thanks for coming along like i said maybe one more video it'll just be a surprise i don't know if it'll be a year or two years but maybe just one more one more so all right thanks again